This is Twit. Um, this is probably near and dear to all of our hearts, but uh, our good friends over at Qualcomm announced Quick Charge 5. Uh, it's a new fast charge spec, and uh, they are claiming it is the world's fastest commercial charging solution. And I hope everyone's sitting down, and I know you are. Um, <laughs> full full charge in 15 minutes, 50% char- 50% charge in five minutes. And this is all based on a 45 uh, 4500 milliamp battery. And I know I mispronounce that every time. I don't know how to say it. Um, with two <laughs> cells receiving 50 watts each. Uh, wireless quick charge is also supported, and they are targeting commercial devices starting in Q3 2020, which is around wow. the corner, everybody. So uh, yep. you could have 50% of your phone charged in just five minutes, all of it within 15 minutes. That's amazing. Um, when you think about That's how crazy. long it used to take, I used to plug in my phone overnight to recharge the battery, and now you can do it in 15 minutes. That's crazy. So uh, I don't know. What about longevity? What about a longevity of these batteries? Because isn't it always like the the flip side of this? People who want, who are naysayers about fast charge are like, yeah, but your battery won't, you know, you won't get as much battery life long term out of a battery that's being charged so rapidly. I wonder how something like this would affect the mm. longevity of a device if it's in a device and now suddenly your device depletes, you know, the battery capacity depletes uh, earlier than we're normally used to. Are we keeping a device for one and a half years and then suddenly like the battery is so destroyed? Like I don't. I don't know. I'm just making a guess, but um, I wonder how what that'll play out to be. I'll well, tell you what. That's the, that's the whole thing where there's only so many charges a battery can take, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, don't you don't you deplete after doing it however many thousand, hundred times or whatever it is? Like, and it hurts the yeah. battery basically. That's what. That's why right. you shouldn't charge to 100 percent all the time. Yeah, I, you know, I, I hear I hear advice on both sides why you should yeah. or why you shouldn't. You know, charge up to eighty percent. You know, even some of the phones. I can't remember the phone that came out recently. Was it one of the OnePlus phones actually that charges up to eighty percent and then guesses when you're going to wake up? I think it is. It's the OnePlus Eight Pro, if I remember correctly. Uh, guesses when over time when you're going to wake up and then it charges up to one hundred only like you know, the last hour before it expects you're going to be taking your phone off the charger to hopefully get longer longevity out of your battery. But um, can't balk at uh, zero to 50 in five minutes. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah, that's this is crazy. crazy. You know, that's, yeah. that's steeping what? a cup of black tea right there. Like that's that's yep. real easy. And it, I'm not going to be the only <laughs> one who's like always watching the number just increase one by one by one. I'm going to love that. <laughs> it's going to be really <laughs> nice to look at. Yes, yeah, but I. It? Sorry. No, go for it. Go, go. Skype. Um, <laughs> I was just gonna say that I still feel having a bigger battery is better, just because of my experience that oh. I've been having with the One Plus Eight. The fact that I do not have to charge that thing until the actual end of the day, versus the life I've been living with the Pixels, how they were just kind of, you know. L- lacking juice or whatever, <laughs> losing juice, uh, you know, about one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So I mm. feel like fast charging is great, but I would rather see something a little bit bigger, maybe instead of faster. I don't know. Yeah, um, I would I would think that under load, that's another pl- that's another place that we should be hopefully getting more information as to how it's uh, mitigating some of the issues. Because if yeah. you got this thing plugged in zero to fifty in five minutes while you're playing like Call of Duty Mobile and your phone's just mm. heating up like crazy, like there's that's another what, yeah. longevity issue. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I would worry about that just degrees. a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're saying ten degrees Celsius cooler um, is what uh, Qualcomm is saying about this. Okay. Well, the but process, yeah, you're right. If you're doing a bunch of other stuff, right. yeah, if you're doing yeah. a bunch of also, other stuff, also, Qualcomm makes the parts, and it's up to the manufacturer to actually exactly. like the put everything sick. around it. That yeah, to to mm-hmm. to make it so that it doesn't kill everything. You know, right. Qualcomm just right. made a fast charging technology. All the other parts are up to somebody else. Yep. True. Yep. yep. Good point. I'm excited um, uh, to see. Do we this. know? Do we know what flagships we're thinking will come with this? That picture looks like a Samsung in the slide. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, does it? <laughs> I think it does. <laughs> I feel like Samsung is the stock Android phone now just because of <laughs> the way it's played out. I think the next slide so, after that where you see the bottom. Q3 2020. Are we in there Q3 we right now? Are we about to be Q3? Yeah, but Q, uh, but it would August. probably include like at least the soonest would be Q4 phones that we're launching, I would assume. Mm. 
targeting commercial de devices starting Q3. I feel like if this was like in the note, for example, this is what I'm trying to think of is like, oh. would they announce this ahead of the note and the note be the launch for this? Yeah. And I feel like we'd know about that. Like there's been enough leaks about things in the Samsung world for this event mm -hmm. coming up that we probably hear about that because this is a pretty big deal, you know, a big right. step up. So probably big not. Deal, big but fun. who knows? Who knows?